what it felt like when 3,000 American citizens were murdered and everybody was shaking their spears and rattling their swords and we want revenge and we want this and we want that. Yeah, don't forget that, right? Don't forget how it felt then. You know, I was one of those people who signed up, left a career, pregnant wife, to join the military and go be part of that reckoning for the murder of 3,000 citizens for a direct attack on our country. But I also realize that because of the forum that I have now, uh, we do a lot of work in the private sector, uh, that it's become my responsibility to let people who don't interact with military folks regularly know about the sacrifices that guys are making for them and, uh, and what that looks like to be veterans after a decade of war. The cost of being part of that reckoning, just the way my stuff shook out, I was gone during the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving for, for several years in a row. And uh, my wife would go back home. I was deployed when one of my children was born. And uh, I walk around and, and one of the things that you commonly hear is, uh, hey man, thank you for your service. When people know you're a vet, right? Uh, thank a veteran. And uh, what I tell people is, hey, it was absolutely my pleasure. But what I tell those folks is, hey, don't thank me. Or don't thank a veteran. Thank my mother or my wife or my kids. Let them know. Being an entrepreneur, being in my own business, people are always are like, what's your mountaintop that you're going to? What, you know, what are you trying to make? What are you trying to do? And to me, it's about legacy. So I look at everything I've been involved with and say, hey, did I, did I do things to, you know, not just for me to succeed, but to help other people and to make it better for somebody else. You know, I never set out to, well, to be an instructor. People like what I have to say. And it's an exercise for me to realize that I was able to help this guy make better decisions and that may be part of my legacy. I'm always looking at, hey, how do I round corners? You know, by rounding corners, I mean, hey, how do I shorten the learning curve for people? What I found is, you know, hey, shooting, firearms, guns, tactics, CQB, that's just the forum. But when I really whittle it down, it's decision making. It's dealing with stress and fear and being able to make the right decision in a complex, chaotic situation. A decision, most often, is between bad and worse. There is no right answer.